Something's happening. Come on. Well, today is a day we've been anticipating for a really long time. Brady is getting a helmet today. And I think all in all, we're, we're ready and excited for it because of some of the things that are going on at home, such as him sleeping on his face. And so getting a helmet will help with that issue. But I think it's also a day of mixed emotions. I think it'll be a little emotional when we first see him, but I think we'll get used to it. You know, of course, over time. So, do you have your mask? Yeah. Press you connect phone button and say text message to read it. Luckily, Brady is so used to this, he doesn't get scared. Oh, they're ready. That was quick. All right, buddy, you ready to go? All right, buddy. I'll see you with the helmet on. Okay. All right. Mommy's definitely more nervous than Brady. What do you think, bud? Do you think mommy's gonna cry? Probably. You're gonna look a little different with your helmet on. You're gonna do great. We gotta make your melon round. I wish I could kiss you through my mask, but I can't. Hey, buddy. Oh, boy. <laughs> what do you think? Just like your swimming hat. Can you smile? Can you say mama? Seem too bothered. Here they are. Oh, he's got it on. All right, buddy, time to show daddy. Let's see it. Oh, he's so cute. Oh, hi, buddy. Oh, I love the way you look. <laughs> Are you gonna go the other way? Okay, so for the first like three days, so today and tomorrow, well, two days, um, we need to take it off every three to four hours and check for redness. He had red spots all over when they took it off after like 10 minutes. And he's like light skinned, so I expect that'll happen. The redness should go away within one hour. If it goes away within one hour, you put it back on for another three to four hours, like all day. If the redness does not go away within an hour, we have to call them and go back in and get it fixed. Looking good, bud. Yeah, I like it. It's very lightweight. I think you look great, buddy. <laughs> yeah, the first nap, even though I just took a nap. Really tired. Looks like he's going down. It's okay, buddy. It's okay. Yeah. Are you okay? I guess that half hour nap was all you needed, right? It's time to check out the helmet, how it's gonna affect what you like to do. Your nipple's popping out. Hey, <laughs> yeah. Oh, it looks like rolling's no problem. Cool, good. Why don't we try putting you in your uh, activity center? We'll see how you like doing that, huh? You still a happy boy? You still a happy boy? Yeah. I think for these helmets, one of the biggest things that we're concerned about for our babies is that they're not going to enjoy them, they're not going to have as much fun as they did, they aren't going to be as smiley as they were before the helmet, but I think that this is saying otherwise, so this is a good sign, right buddy? Yeah! Hi. Can you say, Mama? Oh, hi. Yeah, let's change your diaper and wipe down your helmet and see what it looks like. Uh, Ooh, uh, definitely pressure there. Uh, wipe that and just make sure it's, you know it's dry. It looks like it's rubbing right above It is. Oh. Those are the areas where it will rub. This right one. There. Yeah. Oh yeah, look at that one. And on the front. But this is this is what he needs. These are where he needs the pressure. Right. A little wider. And then there you go. And then you put that in, and you don't push it tight. You just do it so there's not a lot of tension. All right. 
We gotta go do something. Whoa, bobblehead, whoa. Where you at, kiddo? You having fun? Say hi, cousins. Oh. Hi, Heidi. Hi, Nora. All right, so we're trying to put Brady down for his first nap with the helmet. And we've been sleep training him, so I don't think this should be an issue. So usually, if he rolls over, then he's in a good position to fall asleep, and it looks like that is happening. Hopefully. Ah, this is not good. Uh, it makes me feel like I want to throw up because I, I don't want to be awake. What would we do? Would you feed him back to sleep, or? to sleep but I'd have to Or would we follow the sleep training with? We'd follow sleep training but not the first couple nights. I mean I gotta have some compassion for the kid. He's getting used to it. He might have hot spots. He might have red spots. He might have pressure so it might end up taking the helmet off for the first couple nights if, if it really affects it because I wouldn't know what to do. So he successfully fell asleep. Took a little bit longer than normal but he's asleep for his nap. That's a positive. So Brady just woke up from his first nap with the helmet on. It was about 40 something minutes, which is pretty typical for him, but good enough. It's with a helmet, what can you expect? Let's go in a lighted, well-lit room so we can see where your spots are. All right. Doesn't like it being manipulated. Oh yeah. Okay, so this one is the worst one for sure. And he's got like it hurts. On the back of his head. How is his front looking? Yeah, there's one over here. Yeah, those are pretty common places to get it. It's 4.30 right now. So we need to know when this is goes away. Okay. So I just need to monitor the clock and him. Ugh, I hope I don't have to go back tomorrow for that spot. Okay, let's go in your sit-up chair so you can digest, okay? Mm -hmm. Mommy wants to kiss your head. This thing is getting sweaty, so that's Good. You're not sweating, he's not a sweater. All right, so it's been one hour since we took off the helmet and he had red marks all over his head, so now we need to check to, to see if those red marks are gone. Definitely a red mark there. They're still there. Okay, buddy, no more helmet. Brady's first vlog. What up, everyone? Welcome to my crib. So he still has red marks on his head, which means he's gotta go back tomorrow morning. So we can't put the helmet back on until we get back in there and they can shave it down where the area is that it's uh, touching and rubbing. So originally this was supposed to be the original end of the video, but something just happened where Brady basically seemed to have choked on milk or was had something stuck in his throat. And so he was basically choking, gasping for air. <laughs> Happening. And making sounds that we've actually heard him make before. He's gasping for air. But now he was just making them constantly. Oh my god, he's like, it's getting that blue look. And convulsing a little bit and trying to gasp for air over and over and over. After repeated pats. You're okay. You're okay. Come on. And I actually did the bicycle kicks with his legs. He started to cry a lot, which we that's what we wanted. We wanted him to cry. Cry. Go ahead. Because that shows that he's you know able to get air in and out. So he seems to be doing okay. We now stayed up with him. He crazily had more energy now than I've seen like all day from him. So he was making lots of sounds. He was happy, he was laughing. <laughs> 
But to recap the whole helmet thing, his head was too red to put him down with the helmet, so we put him down without the helmet for the first night, and it's going down really easily. So we'll try maybe tomorrow night, depending on uh, how his visit goes, because he'll need to shave down his head, or I mean shave down the helmet. But uh, if you want to see the rest of this helmet saga and what else also happens to us Conovers, then make sure you subscribe to catch all the action and to follow Brady's progress and all the adventures that we get into. Thanks for watching. Peace.